Good morning. <laughs> I have this set up really awkwardly, but we'll see how it works. I hope this isn't backwards for you. Um, I am going to walk through the shakes, the greens, and the fiber with you this morning. Um, I went ahead and already made the vegan, the chocolate, and the vanilla shake just so that you wouldn't hear the chitter chatter, clinger clanger. Um, in the comments, I want to know what you're most excited about, what you're excited to try, you know, all the things. So, um, you don't really need any fancy equipment to make the shakes or the fiber or the greens. I just want to, you know, say that. Um, really, I just have one of these guys and I, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, so. I did not make a full serving of all of them. That was my other thing I wanted to tell you. I did a half a scoop, which the scoops are huge, <laughs> in case you didn't want to, if you didn't know. So I did half a scoop, and it's recommended that you, um, the, the directions say eight ounces of water or eight ounces of whatever liquid you need, and then a full scoop. So I did four ounces and half a scoop, okay? So then, also what I do is I like my shakes to have a little, uh, I added two ice cubes to it. That's just what I like to do. So I did not add any essential oils to these. I didn't add any um, anything else. It's just strictly your milk base, whatever you choose, uh, milk-wise. Um, I did four ounces of that and then half a scoop, just because I'm trying tons of things this morning and this is going to be my breakfast. So <laughs> I didn't want to like overload myself. Um, let's talk about the vegan. So I want to show you the color difference between the vegan and the vanilla, and you really can't tell. Sorry, I can't mix this up, but you can smell the difference. Um, the vegan smells like cake batter, okay? Um, and this is what the, the vegan one looks like. It's plant-based, and it has uh, 21 grams of protein if that's what you are looking for. And I'm just looking at what it says. Um, let me see, the, the vegan one is gonna be $39.50 wholesale and there's 20 servings in a bag, okay? Just so you know. Um, currently right now it's not available, <laughs> which is why I started with that. Um, in a nutshell, doTERRA blew through six months worth of inventory in a weekend because that's what we do in doTERRA land, okay? We crush it. All right, so I'm gonna, I've actually tasted this, so this isn't like my first time tasting it, but it's yummy to me. It tastes like cake batter if there's nothing else in there, just so you know. Um, I don't think it has a chalky taste to it personally, but I'm also not one that's super picky about my shakes. I just kind of do it drink it really fast and call it a day. So that's the vegan one. I should have my kids taste them. I'm gonna save it for them. All right, let's move on to the chocolate, okay? So there's the whey protein, which is gonna be a chocolate flavor and a vanilla flavor. This is what the chocolate one looks like, okay? And then this is what the vanilla one looks like. And both of these do have Again, 21 grams of protein. So, you know, these are way better than the ones that doTERRA had before um, because it wasn't, it wasn't high in protein and these are, which is awesome. So depending upon how much you wanna have an intake, this could be um, your, your, meal, blah, 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 your meal replacement. Um, if you just add a few other things to it, so if you wanna juice it up or if you just wanna keep it simple and stuff like that. Um, these are all, actually, I'm gonna go through the FAQs after we taste these together. How about that? I have not tasted the whey, the, the, um, the whey protein. I have not tasted them yet. Um, if you're just joining, that's a scoop of what it is. It's one full scoop to eight ounces of your preferred milk beverage. And I'm just doing half a scoop and four ounces. And that's what it looks like in, an, in a cup. Oh, and two ice cubes is what I did. All right, let's taste the chocolate first. You ready? I'm so nervous. What if it's disgusting? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me right now. Oh. Heidi, um, no, I'm doing milk. 
Actually, I do almond milk. I'm not doing it with water. I don't know why I would do it with water. I like the milk um, because I think it gives it like a milkshakey, creamy consistency, okay? So this is the chocolate. It's good. It's not, I don't think it's gross. I'm trying to see if I have, it doesn't taste chalky to me. Um, it's actually really good. It'd probably be really good with some cinnamon oil, cardamom. I'm thinking of like those, oh, peppermint. It kind of tastes like a brownie. Yeah, that tastes like a brownie. Let me cleanse my palate. Hold on a second. What questions do you have for me? Nothing is more awkward than having people watch you eat. And in this case, drink. Okay, now let's jump into the vanilla. So if you were to put these two side by side, the, the vegan and the vanilla, like I said, the vegan smells like cake batter and the vanilla smells like vanilla, okay? Um, but look-wise, you really can't tell the difference, um, which is interesting. All right, this is the vanilla. That tastes like frosting. Yeah, frosting. Um, yeah, actually, Laura, I will go through the FAQs talking about gluten and all that fun stuff for you in a little bit. Thank you for that question. Okay, this tastes like frosting. It's good. Not gonna lie. That's good. Um, honestly, the true test would be my kids. So I will have them come after I give you all the information, okay? All right, now, now what I didn't do was we are gonna taste the greens together and I'm gonna show you how I make it up and we're gonna talk about the fiber too. So the greens are actually going to replace the terra greens. If you've tasted the terra greens in the past, I applaud you. I could only use a half a scoop because it was, mm. <laughs> and that's putting it nicely. Um, I have heard that these taste a lot better. So let's, it's like a, it's like a treasure chest, a treasure, treasure hunt when you open these for the first time. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't want to get this all over my hands, but I think I'm going to have to. Oh, the scoop is littler. Okay, phew. I was so nervous that it was going to be this big of a scoop. And that was just, Ooh. Okay, so let me read what it says. Mix one scoop with eight ounces of water, juice, or in your favorite smoothie. Drink immediately. All right, I'm only gonna do half a scoop because um, I'm only gonna do four ounces of water because I've got a little little stuff going on. Okay, so um, there's a ton of green blends in here. There's a bunch of superfood in here. The fruit blend, and then it does have lemon and ginger root uh, essential oil in here too, which I heard is what kind of um, helps with the flavoring. All right, so we are gonna put in, what did it say? I'm gonna put in four ounces of water, and then, I don't know if I should've put my water in first, or if I should've put the powder in, but either way, I put the powder in, okay? Um, now the other thing that I do suggest that you have is if you don't have like a handheld mixer, this is gonna be one of your good friends. Um, <clears throat> Cause it just kind of mixes it up really quick. Uh, you can use a spoon if you want. It just doesn't, I think, mix it as well or fast. And you wanna make this as easy for yourself as possible. Not, um, oh, that smells good. I mean, it smells like greens, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like it smells like strawberries. Um, it smells like greens, but it doesn't smell like greens. Those terra greens, dear. if you like them, then kudos to you. I, I applaud you. I was not my fave. Okay, this kind of looks like mulky, mucky um, um, swamp water. Uh, yeah, that's a great description for you. Trust me on that one. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We got some swampy water. I'm sure it doesn't taste like swamp water, so I've been told. Oh. Okay, it tastes like greens, I'm not gonna lie. But, I think there's, it, somebody said there was pineapple in here and I can totally taste the pineapple. Yeah, okay. Pineapple, 
lemon. This is really good to drink by itself. You don't even have to mix it in a shake because I think if you mixed it with the chocolate, don't do that. Oh God. Um, if you mix it with the vanilla or the vegan, I don't know. I think I might just drink this by itself. That's not bad at all. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. That's, that's yummy. Um, what else about this that you want to know or need to know? Um, I'll talk more about it, but, oh, that's a home run, doTERRA. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited about that one? All right, let's talk about fiber. Who likes to poop? Who needs help pooping? Um, come on, you know it wouldn't be a call <laughs> or a live video if I didn't talk about your bowels, right? Um, all right, so we're doing four more ounces of water because I'm only doing half a scoop here. And at this time, I'm gonna actually try adding the water first, see if it makes a difference. But honestly, this handheld guy was the best. Um, all right, let's see. No, not too much here. We're doing half a scoop here, Bethany. That's more like three quarters of a scoop. Okay, so that's what the fiber looks like. <laughs> it looks like fiber, right? Um, oh, I should have taken my straw out. Whoops. All right, so as we're talking through this, um, this is intended to, you can drink it by itself, which is what I'm doing. Um, you could add it to the protein shakes if you want, but the protein shakes actually already have fiber in it. Um, people will want to know about my poop after we're done with this. Yeah. Um, if you, if, if that's your, if that's your jam. So what I'm trying to say is, is you actually, if you do the shakes, they already have the fiber in them. Let me see how much fiber they have. Um, yeah, they have eight grams of the dietary fiber already in them. Um, if you need a little bit more fiber, you can do that. But how I think I'm gonna use this fiber is, is if you are one that tends to overindulge or you know you're gonna overindulge before you eat, this might be a great thing to chug half hour before you eat dinner. Because fiber is, um, can you give me a few minutes? Fiber is filling and it'll kinda just uh, give you what you need, but not that you overindulge in food. Um, if you are trying to, you know, keep yourself fuller, you can do it as in between if you want or whatever. Um, you don't have to mix it as long as I just did, trust me. I just got talking and that's what happened. Okay, moment of truth. I'm really nervous about this. Oh, shoot. It said mix one scoop in 10 ounces of water. I did four ounces and I did half a scoop, so it might be a little too thick, but that's okay. It's probably not gonna, I'm not gonna die. Um, all right, so there are 28 grams, oh no, it's important to get 28 grams of soluble and insoluble fiber every day. This one um, provides six grams of soluble and insoluble fiber um, from apples, chicory root, jerusalem artichoke, and flexi. Oh, my dad's here. Nothing like a live video. It's not gonna run for probably because it's the apple. I taste the apple. Um, yeah. Carmela, do you want to come try these and give us, give me your honest opinion? What do you think? Come here. You want to try these? Hop up here. All right. Here's the moment of truth, right? All right. Can you taste this and tell me what you think? Yeah. I know it looks like poop, but try it. What do you think? Does it taste good? Are you sure? Because your face is not uh, telling me it is. All right, try this. It's green. It's green stuff. Can you taste it? What do you think? You like it? Oh. All right, you want to try the vanilla one? Try the vanilla. Tell me what you think. Is that good? Yeah? Okay. Want to try the chocolate? <laughs> it tastes like what? Can you tell the camera? What's it taste like? Chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. Oh boy. All right. What about this one? Taste this one. Tell me what you think. Uh, 
Thumbs up. All right, which one was your favorite? The chocolate was your favorite? <laughs> All right, good. All right, so let me walk through some FAQs really quick with you. What type of protein is used? The chocolate and vanilla uses a whey. The vegan uses a pea, brown rice, flaxseed, sacha, and pumpkin seed. Um, is there any soy in the products? Nope, all the, all the products are soy free. Are these safe for pregnant and lactating women? The answer is, um, my answer is, I hope so, because I'm lactating. Um, <laughs> but um, if you want, I would suggest, the suggestion is, is just ask your doctor um, or practitioner. Um, why are these not labeled organic? Because if you follow along, um, we grab all of these from all over the world, and so some places label things organic and not, but you can be rest assured that these contain the same um, standard and purity that the essential oils are, so you are safe to consume, okay? All right, let's see, what else? Are all the doTERRA protein flavors gluten-free? Yes, all the protein flavors, the vanilla, the chocolate, and the vegan are certified gluten-free. The oat flour that's included in these products is sourced from a special plant in Ireland that has very strict gluten controls in place, okay? Are the fiber and greens gluten-free? So they are not certified gluten-free. Um, they have verified that all the ingredients in the two products are gluten-free um, and all other allergens except dairy for which is in the vanilla and the chocolate whey protein shakes, okay? Um, do they follow the sourcing practices? As with all the products within doTERRA, we follow the sourcing um, protocols, okay? Um, are any products being dis discontinued once this new line launches, which it already has launched? Yes, um, it's going to replace the Slim and Sassy Trim Shakes and the Terra Greens, which we talked about were gross. Um, are they safe for children to consume? Probably should have read this before I had my kid drink it, but yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, are the Greens and Fiber vegan? They are, okay. Uh, what flavor is the vegan protein? We talked about that. It's vanilla flavored, um, but it tastes more vanilla-y or cake battery-like than the whey does, okay? A few more, stay with me. Okay, why did doTERRA include maltodextrin? I think I'm saying that right. Okay, so um, it's used, there's a whole write-up all about it. Um, it's, what does it say? It's used as a processing or a carrier agent and um, it's sourced, some are sourced from corn and wheat, but uh, doTERRA sources it from tapioca, which makes it a little bit uh, better. Thanks for joining. Um, what are the natural flavors? So instead of listing five to 10 different natural flavors, i.e. like um, vanilla, there's vanilla flavoring, vanilla extract, vanilla eating, they just kind of lumped it all together and said natural flavors. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, why did they include oat flour? They included it as an additional source of protein and fiber, as well as a source of beta glutenkin in um, a crowded protein space. Oh, this is where it's gonna go over my head. This unique source of protein and fiber helps to differentiate our products and it provides a nice taste. Um, it's gluten-free. Um, the oat flour that they used is independently verified to be gluten-free, um, and it's sourced in Ireland, UK, and Spain. The serving sizes, that's a great um, point in question. Okay, the serving sizes for the proteins are gonna be 20 servings, and that's if you're using that really big scoop, okay? Um, the greens and the fiber are 30 servings, and you saw the difference. Let me show you the different size scoops, just so you have an idea, okay? Those are the different size scoops for you. Um, most are all are all of these products vegan friendly. Most are vegan friendly except for the vanilla and the chocolate whey, which we talked about. Um, and do these new products contain dairy? The whey, chocolate, and vanilla do contain dairy. The vegan protein, greens, and fiber are all dairy free. Okay. So the other thing is, if you are logging onto doTERRA's website right now and you're like, I can't find the greens, I can't, um, guess what? doTERRA had to turn the sales off because again, they sold out of six months of inventory over the weekend. However, there is a way for you to still grab the greens is if you grab that kit. Um, it's only available for the month of January. 
and it's 10% off and it's gonna help you uh, launch into the daily habits, um, not daily habits, it's gonna help you launch into the program that doTERRA is doing February 1st that you can opt into for daily text messages and just to help you get in on um, helping your life. Hey, do you wanna try, try the shakes really quick? Mm -hmm. All right, come here. I need your honest opinion. Let's start with the fiber. Taste it. What's it look like to you? Poop. It does look like poop. <laughs> it's gross? You don't like it? No. What about this one? That's the good greens. <laughs> are you being, are you just being funny? That one stinks. The green stinks a little bit, yeah. I know. All right, this one is... Mm. Okay, that's the vegan, the chocolate. Mm. You like the chocolate? And that's the vanilla. Okay, so the shakes are good, but you're not a fan of the greens or the fibers. Wanna go tell Nolan? Oh, okay. All right, hopefully that helps answer any questions. Let me just scroll through really quick. Um, oh, thank you for saying that, Kelly. Um, if you purchase any of these, in the next few days, doTERRA is gonna email you. Um, a recipe book. So if you don't like to keep, if, if you want to like do bananas or peanut butter or anything like that, um, you can, they'll give you some nice fun recipes to incorporate essential oils and um, other products like that. So thank you for saying that. Let me see what else, if we're missing anything. Um, okay. I don't think we're missing anything. And we're good. All right. Well, thanks for joining. Hopefully that answers some questions for you. And um, I, oh, that's the last thing I wanted to tell you. So if you're on the team and you wanted to try before you buy, reach out to me and I will be happy to send you a sample once my sample bags come. Um, the only thing is, is I'm going to ask that you give an honest review on the team page. Post a picture of you drinking your shake or whatever and let us know what your thoughts are. All right. Have a great, great day. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, how do I do that? Mm -hmm.